Hi there, this is Jana Lee with EXP Realty in Salmon, Idaho. And last week we did a video on closing day and what to expect. And in that video, we mentioned the pre-final walkthrough of the home. So this week's video is gonna tell you what is a pre-final walkthrough and why do you need to do it? So let's dive right in. So you've gone through the whole home buying process so far. You've scouted out homes, put it in an offer, got a mortgage, did your inspections, and now you're nearing closing day. One of the final things that you need to do is the pre-final walkthrough. It's the last step in the process besides signing the documents. And it's a very important one and one that I highly recommend you don't miss. This is the last time that you get to walk through the house before you own it. And it's the last time that if there's anything wrong with the property, you need to speak up. I don't want you though to get confused with this and an inspection. This is not the time to bring up any new issues in the home um, or request to have anything repaired that previously was brought up in an inspection. The pre-final walkthrough, however, is a great time to check out and make sure that all the repairs were made that were requested after the home inspection, if you haven't already done so already. You also want to check to make sure anything that was included in the home is still there and that the home is in the same condition as when you agreed to buy it. So here's a few suggestions on what to be checking when you do your walkthrough on the house. You're gonna to want to go through the home and open up all the doors and windows and make sure they operate fully. You'll want to check all the appliances, make sure they're good working order. And you're gonna to wanna to also check all the lights. Another thing is to go through and check all the faucets, your shower, your tub, your um, sink, and then also open up the cabinets underneath them and make sure there's no leaks. Turn on the heating and the air conditioning and check those. And then also check for any remaining property that may have been left on the premises that you don't want there because you better speak up now if you need the sellers to remove it. Again, this walkthrough is not an inspection. It's not a time to bring up any new issues um, that you didn't previously bring up after the home inspection. This walkthrough, however, is a great time to double check that all the repairs were made that were requested after the home inspection. At this stage of the game, most home buyers are just ready to be done with the whole home buying process. They're ready to sign those documents, get the keys and move on in. However, I can't stress enough how important it is not to skip the final walkthrough. You do not wanna take possession of a home that may have broken frozen pipes or maybe the air conditioning went out or the heating system went out after the final inspections. So make sure you do the final walkthrough, do your due diligence and make sure that home is going to be perfect and ready for you to move in on move-in day. Let me know if you have any questions regarding the final walkthrough process or the home buying process in general. I am going to give a little freebie out there. In the description below, I'm going to put a final walkthrough checklist that you can take with you to your um, pre-closing walkthrough. Your agent should be present at that visit as well, so do expect that. But that link will take you to my website where you can download that form, so take advantage of that. Thank you for watching this video. I always appreciate all the support given, and I hope you guys have a great spring, and remember to be kind and take care out there.